as usual. experience things the way you guys experience it so i was just telling him you got to be open to listen and learn and stuff like that so then he uh he listened um but every time my friend do take him somewhere pick him up somewhere he do be teaching them like he's he's like one of the people that just be trying to teach you all the time like they feel like you missing something he tries to like put you up on game pretty much so i don't think my son like his delivery but sometimes you just have to be willing to listen because it's always something you can learn from somebody. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, um, but with teenage boys or period, well, my son has my attitude that I used to have, and I don't feel like I had an attitude no more because I'm always willing to listen now. But I, I learned that throughout life, you just can't be by yourself, and you just can't you you can't teach yourself everything. You need other people life lessons. Sometimes they they stop you from making a mistake or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's our talk this morning. So he was listening. But he probably was evaluating himself that he didn't realize he came off like that to his uncle. Maybe to other people he didn't care. But he probably don't want to come off like that to his uncle because he loves it and look up to his uncle like um, so many lovers. Y'all, I be seeing some houses and I be putting together in my head how I want my house to be. I even got a little book that I just started, like my little manifestation book for my dream house and car. Like where I start writing down little things that I see on houses. And what, I, what I've been seeing lately, yeah, I do shift from com combo to combo, but we're gonna go back to that. So I've been seeing like the, the what do you call the things on the side of the window? Those have been like shutters, whatever they're called. I've been seeing a lot of those in wood and it's so beautiful. I love it. I don't know when I get my house if it's still gonna be a thing or if I'm gonna still like it, but I, I've been seeing that. I want a brown house, brown tannish, and I want a wooden door. I want wooden sh shutters. I want black trim on different things like black um, lamps, whatever you call it. Hardware and stuff like that. But yeah, back to that. So that's like what we're talking about now. We have six minutes each. You really have to be willing to listen. I don't care how old you is and whatever you went through. Somebody can always teach you something that you didn't know. Oh, that house is perfect. Somebody can always teach you some things that you didn't know, truthfully. I feel sick. And that's what happens when I be drinking orange juice in the morning. On the empty stomach. Had to stop at this school bus. Let's stop there. The school bus is back in session. But yeah, um, I'm a learner and I'm a listener. And, so, and I had to learn that over time. And you know, you could tell your kids so much, but sometimes they do have to experience things for themselves. Because you might, he might be a child like me, where at one point I wanted to know for myself, like, if you tell me, like, the sky is blue, I'm finna see. Because I don't know if you know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I handle things. And he probably got that in his blood. So I understand. But you still have to be willing to listen no matter what. I don't care who you are. And some adults can't even listen because I have a, a conversations with some adults and they just cannot listen. They don't know how to sit there and listen and receive your information because you may not even want it, an opinion in that scenario, but they, they just listen to respond. Sometimes you just got to listen and take in what you're listening, listening to. And as y'all know, my birthday is 11 days away and I have no plans, but I'm passing Massage Envy, Massage Envy. And that's something I wanted to do. But honestly, my funds is kind of funny. So I don't want to limit myself to my birthday because I never do. But my funds is funny. And I, my son need um, football. And I think that's $800. At least I got to pay half. But at least for him to even practice with pads on. So I don't ever want my son to feel like he can't do something because his mind don't got it. I never want him to feel like that. But I'm not going to lie. It's kind of tough right now. That's just life, you know. But I guarantee you one thing about it, I'm going to be up in the next month or two. And when I say up, I mean all the way up. I got some things happening behind the scenes now. I can't touch the money right now, but I got some things happening. And um, I'm just going to be up. I already know that. But right now, sometimes you got to go through it to get to it. And that's just what it is. And you got to do it happily and humbly because you don't want to be sad and down. It's not going to... It's not gonna help. You could be there for a second, but don't stay there. Don't ever stay in that sad moment. That's why it'd be hard for me to cry nowadays. When I need a good cry, sometimes it'd be hard to come out. I suppress that so long, but you shouldn't suppress it. I know when to let it out though. When my body starts feeling it, it's time to let it out. I don't even know if they're open yet. They used to be open so early, but this parking lot is empty as fuck. I really don't want to sit here and wait either. This parking lot empty. I don't know if Ross is open. I'm going to have to Google it. But, y'all, I'm going to go right here. And I'm about to. I'm going to come back to y'all. And we're going to talk about something else that I, me and my son was talking about. But it's, it is hard for a kid when their mom don't date. 
or I, I used to date behind, like, and not tell him. I used to just date, and um, I think they open. I don't know if they open. You know how you date as a parent and your kid don't know that you got a dating life? That's how it was. Everything was privately and in secret because you don't have to show everybody, your kids to everybody or your child, everybody to your kids. So that's what I did. But now I'm um, dating somebody where he's around. My son is having a hard time with that. He's struggling with that. But the thing is, son, you got a whole girlfriend that you see several times a week. You sending her food. Y'all just found this out. He sent her food. And he, um, they buy each other things and stuff like that. <laughs> but I can't be happy. Child, this kid is funny enough, but I say you rather, you rather it would be somebody good in my life, which this guy is very, like, it's certain stuff he don't even want me doing. Like, he don't want me put, bringing groceries in. And for so long, I do it. I've been doing it and just don't realize that. I gotta let the man do certain things. He don't want me taking trash out. He don't want me um, driving late. The other day I was gonna go get my son and we was already out and he was like, let's just go get him now or whatever. If we went getting food late, he don't want me to go get it by myself. It's just like certain things he does as a man that I just gotta get used to. But like, I'm enjoying this ride. Like I said, whatever it turns into is cool and whatever it don't turn into is cool, but I'm enjoying it, but my son, he's got to get used to it. Mm. It must be real easy for them kids whose parents always dating everybody and showing everybody to them. One thing about it, that orange just will clean you out, baby. Let me see what time that um open. See you guys later. I will be back two to three times, three, two to three more times today. Y'all comment below on how y'all feel about this subject we just talked about. Anything we just talked about, comment below. And on my affirmation video, I need y'all to put some affirmations in the comments so that we can build up our daily affirmations. Because we're going to make this video every day. And I haven't made mine today, but I need to actually go look up some affirmations so we won't just be talking and just saying no BS. I'm taking these nails off <coughs> and I'm getting them done next week for my birthday. <coughs> See you later. Peace.